everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox, and one thing I've been trying to learn to do a little bit better lately is to try to fit double stops into my, uh, into my playing, and um, I wanted to, I came up with a lesson, uh, partly to teach myself, and then if anybody else is interested, um, on mandolin double stops. So um, you can print off this free tab at the Fretboard Toolbox website under the Videos, Tabs, and More link um, un under Mandolin and it's called Mandolin Double Stops. And then we'll also be using the G major and E minor page of a fretboard toolbox if you don't already have your own. So uh, you can print this off for free at the, uh, at the same link or you can do it from the, print it from the free toolbox pages link. Um, and then we'll be able to see, um, if you know which notes make up each chord, like G major's made of G, B, and D, then you'll be able to see how can I just pick some of those notes, G, B, or D, which just combinations of two of those, how can I find those all up and down the neck to start being able to um, play through some, some double stops. And uh, we'll, we'll look at some different uh, short chord progressions, playing them as double stops, and, and uh, hopefully by the end of the lesson you'll find something worthwhile. I appreciate you taking a look. Okay, today we're going to take a quick look at double stops um, in the key of G major. And I know we're in the key of G major because we've got one sharp up here, and not just because it tells me up here. Um, and I can also tell because when I look at the table of contents from the, an original mandolin edition, I can see if it's got one sharp, it's either in the key of G major or E minor. But today we're going to be playing chords out of the key of G major, um, or thinking in, the key, in terms of the key of G major. So um, double stops uh, are not something that I've integrated into my playing as much as I would like. And I really honestly don't play as much mandolin as I would like um, with all the other instruments that I do for toolboxes. But, um, but I've um, been thinking a lot about double stops lately and wanted to show you how easy it is to see double stops on, on a toolbox. So the G major chords in every instrument are always built out of the notes G, B, and D. So all a double stop is is playing two notes at the same time. So I can play um, G and B. I can play B and D. Uh, I can play G and D, uh, etc. So there's uh, so all I need to do to play a G major double stop is play any two of the notes G, B, and D. And there's lots of places those can take place. Um, this. Um, tab that you can print off um, is will show several different places. Um, one simple one starts just 2-3 and then uh, so I just played the notes 2-3 and then 2-3 at the same time. And that's a G major because it's the notes um, B and G. So anytime you're playing just G's, B's, and D's you can play, uh, use that for a G major chord. So if I just go 2-3 um, then I'm playing um, then I'm playing a G major chord here. Okay, then moving on up, I can go, um, I can go open two, okay, and uh, open on the three string, and then two, um, open on the three string is uh, a D, and then second fret of the um, a string is a B. So if I play just those two together, I'm playing a G major. So B, G, um, D, B. Okay, if you want to see that real quick, just these two guys. That's B, G. So that'll be a G major. D, B. That's still a G major. And then um, some other ones. If you want to uh, pause this, you can um, leave that up and just play through a few, but I'm just going to, I'm not going to put this back up for a sec. You can print it off if you want your own, but I'm just going to play through several more measures of this. Uh, I'll play uh, all these up from 3 to 10, uh, measure 3 to measure 10. So the uh, measure 3 is, is um, 4, 5, so it's just B, G. And then you can go 5-2 here on the 3 and 2 strings. Okay, 5-2 is um, just G, B. I can go 5-5, five, five, which works because that's just G, D. I can go 5-5 five, five here on the uh, 2 strings and then 7 on the 1 strings.
oops, um, and then then um, some more that I could do. I can go um, I can go uh, seven on the um, I can go seven on the D, G string and five on the uh, D string. So just D and B notes there. I can go seven nine. I can go 9-10. 9-10 is just B and then G notes. And uh, then I can go 12-9, uh, because that's G and B. 12 on the D string, and 9 on the uh, D string. So there's tons and tons of places that you can play uh, those same chords or those same notes and you're always playing a G major uh, and so um, if I wanted to play some chord progressions um, with double stops what I can do is um, I can play uh, a G D G progression so I'm gonna go three two three two two five two five and then I'm gonna go three five so here that looks like 3-2 is a G major because it's the notes G, B, and D. 2-5 uh, works because that's the notes D and F sharp. And the 5 chord is made of the notes D, F sharp, and A. So again, I can just pick two of those. So I'm going to go G, B, D, F sharp, and then I'm going to go 3-5. Um, so I'm going to go G, D, okay? And uh, that's going to be a G major also because it's G's, B's, and D's. So, uh, that would look like this. There's my G. There's my D. There's my G. So slowly that's two, three, two, three, two, five, two, five, five, three. Okay, uh, another progression I could do is a one, four, five progression. And a one, four, five progression is gonna be G major, C major, D major. And the way I could do that, uh, shown the tab here, is two three two three three zero oh, three zero, oh, then that five two again, and then five three again. Okay, and that um, so the two three we already looked at, um, the B and G, and then the um, the three and O oh is going to be C and E. So on the two strings, third fret, one strings uh, open. So C, E, and that's going to work because C major is made of the notes C, E, and G. So I'm going to go um, 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 0, oh, 3, 0, oh, and then 2, 5, 2, 5. And that's going to give me the sound of a 1, 4, 5 progression. So it goes like this. Another progression we could try um, is a GDC. So to do that, we can go 5-7, 5-7, 5-5, 5-5, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 7-8, 
um, five seven five five seven eight seven ten okay again that's five seven five five seven eight seven ten or G major D major C major G major so listen to the sounds of those intervals. You'll want to uh, start thinking in terms of Roman numerals if you don't already, because it'll really open up your playing a ton. Um, next we'll look at a G major, E minor. Make sure that's close enough for you. We're gonna go G major, E minor, um, and then C, and then D, okay? So I'm gonna go um, two, five, or five two five two 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 two, two three two three open open so it's going to be G E minor C major D major and then just a little two note um, G major again so that's five two five two uh, five, fifth uh, fret and second fret is G B and then I'm going to go two two E B and that's because an E minor chord has made the notes E, G, sharp, and B. So I'm just going to pick E and B out of there. And so 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, E and C works because a C major is made of the notes C, E, and G. So E, C, E, C, and then, um, and then open, open, D, A, D, A will be, work for a 5 chord because it's part of the notes D, F, sharp, and A. And then open two will work because we have D um, open on the third string, and then two um, is a B, and D and B are part of the G major chord. So uh, on the mandolin, that would look like, we'll go five, two, five, two, 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 three, two, or two, three open open in the middle two strings okay so that's two five or five two and then that uh, G major chord just rounds it out um, we'll look at just a couple more here um, we have uh, a um, G, E minor, A minor, D. Let's see, G, E minor, A minor, D. Uh, that's a 1, 6, 2, 5 progression. So we'll go 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 2. Okay? And the, uh, you've seen the other chords. The A minor is going to be made of the notes A, C, and E. So we're going to um, run through this one real quick. And then I'll try to get you out of here. So we've got um, two, three, two open, open, open. Up. So that's two, three, two, o, oh, o, oh, o, oh, o, oh, two, three, two. And then there's a couple more progressions on there that you could play through if you'd like, but um, if, uh, if, Hopefully that made a little bit of sense out of double stops for you, and uh, hopefully gives you something to play around with if you're interested in double stops. I uh, appreciate you taking a look, and uh, we'll have lots more videos coming, so thanks for checking out Fretboard Toolboxes.